Well, we're here at Hume Community Garden Centre and today is a Thursday, it's one of our busiest days today. We have our toddler group um, which meets every week um, and also we have a, a corporate challenge in today where companies can come and do um, activities and help us with the project here. And also we've gone to have a look at some uh, training that I provide for the local community a little later on this afternoon. We don't have any animals on site here just because of kind of husbandry and, and keep taking care of them but we have a lot of wildlife that actually comes in naturally into the garden so we have a lot of um, common birds, we have some very special um, insects and things, we have a wildlife pond so we have frogs and things like that that are always around the garden generally. We're open to the public seven days a week so the whole place is open to the public for people to come and, and visit. Uh, the gardens are open during that time so yes you can come and bring your sandwiches, bring a paper, uh, come and have a look round and just take in all the, uh, the sights and sounds of the garden. The main event that we've got coming up is our summer party. It's on Saturday the 30th of July and it's here to celebrate us as the garden centre within the community where we have lots of live bands, lots of obviously music with that, um, food and local arts and crafts that come down and, um, and just take part in the general joyous celebrations. <laughs> My main tip that I tell, I teach a lot of people and the first thing they do is panic. I say don't panic go with it, it's not an exact science, and excuse the pun, everything will regrow and grow and develop. Just experiment and have fun with it. Across Manchester there are a lot of allotments out there. Um, there is a lovely website called AMOS, it's Association of Manchester Allotment Societies, and you can go and actually find your nearest allotment plot through that website and then they give you the contact details through that. There are usually waiting lists because it is very popular these days to do it, so don't be surprised if you do have to be put on a waiting list before you get one. What we run here at the garden centre is a lot of different projects. We have things as simple as our parent toddler group where people can bring uh, the young children along with themselves and, and take part. Um, we also have regular volunteering days where any member of the public or if, you know, you've got a spare bit of time, you want to come down and do um, a little bit of gardening, learn new skills, meet new people, we have regular volunteering. We have a variety of, of, of training courses which are run throughout the year which people can go on whether it be from um, basic allotment training, learning how to grow, to um, just coming down and having a little bit of fun on one of our activities and, and our open days. Anything. You can grow anything in your, in your garden, whether it be in the ground or in a container. Most people within an inner city don't have large gardens or spaces. Some have balconies, some have doorsteps, and containerised growing is, is one of the best ways to do it. So you may know you, you name it, you can grow it, whether it be potatoes in a pot, to tomatoes in a hanging basket, to strawberries in a hanging basket. Doesn't matter what kind of space you've got, you can, you can find something that's suitable. For you.